Amazing, amazing. All right, it is now time for entertainment news, and we are starting with this one. Wizkid talks about acting. Nigerian music star Ayo Dechi Balogun, popularly known as Wizkid, has revealed that he would love to try his hand on multiple things, including Nollywood and fashion, if music ceases to be an option. In a 2022 interview with BBC, which resurfaced, Wizkid made a revelation where he said, and I quote, I've never seen myself do anything other than music, so it's hard to see me do anything else. But I'll, uh, what I would love to do is fashion and movies someday. I'm a big fan of movies. I'm a big fan of Nollywood. I don't know if I can ever act in Nollywood movies because I don't know if I'm that funny. You need a special skill and talent to be a Nollywood actor. I don't care about Hollywood, but Nollywood is a special industry. Producing one Nollywood movie someday is something I would love to do, end of quote. If you would recall earlier this month, Whiskey announced that he was taking a break from music to concentrate on himself and his loved ones. Now in a new post Whiskey put up on his Instagram story, he's stating that he wants to become an actor, thereby revealing what types of roles he's interested in playing. Here's what he wrote in Pidgin English. Shebi, I tell Una, one day, I want the act film. I just want a kiss and shoot gun for a movie, that's all. Yeah, and I want to slap people for film. Now, my hidden talent be that, end of quote. He also wrote, and I quote, Loving every bit of this holiday might extend to six years, end of quote. Hmm. And, and, and definitely, I know where all of this is stemming from. Um, so, I, it was over the weekend, um, Whiskey was spotted with um, filmmaker um, Kulian Folayo. And people were just like, hey, go. <laughs> and Kulian Folayo was taking, taking him around his studio and his restaurant. Yeah. And that, that one sparked another conversation. Like, wait, see this? What is Whiskey still doing in Nigeria, number one? Hmm. That this one that is in Nigeria, visiting, visiting, visiting. The, you might not see this guy again for a long time yep. in Nigeria. So enjoy it while it lasts and now spark conversation that, ah, are they planning on shooting something? Before what are they doing? Then he now said, oh my, want they shoot, he want they kiss girls for films and they slap people. <laughs> I, even saw, I even saw this uh, post God. where he put on his Instagram story and he said that um, there are a lot of people in his DM apparently because he said he wants kissing scenes. So he said to all those people in my DM, I'm the one that will choose who I'll kiss. So, all of you, get out. So I want to find out. So those people in mm. his DMs, mm -hmm. are they actors? I like have. Nollywood <laughs> actresses? Because... You guys be actor to yep. one kiss and for his uh, life film. So if na uh, na faves, make una let us know the names of people when they in DM one kiss with skate. But you know these days we have a lot of upcoming <laughs> actors and actresses. Okay, that was, uh -huh. Everybody uh, na actor. Yeah, all those people uh -huh. from Instagram. Where they never act any film, but you, you see it on your bio. Nollywood actress, hmm. yeah. She's well. You uh, but definitely you can't look I, I I think it's not be bad to probably see something like that. Yeah, so it probably in and he said he's not interested in Nollywood, he's interested in Nollywood. Nollywood, yeah. So it would be interesting to see a collaboration between himself and Kuli Anfolayo, who is doing well. Yeah, very absolutely well. Absolutely well in the movie industry. And Looking forward to that, if he's not Cruz, huh? because Whiskey <laughs> and Cruz not like this. <laughs> but you know Whiskey is actually not the first uh, musician to come out mm -hmm. to say that he wants to be an actor. Even recently, I think Thames came out to say that she would also be interested in acting during an interview. Did yeah. Thames talk about kissing too? No, she did specify. But she said she'll also be interested in acting. So all these people, eh, they use side eye and look them because they fit on the plan. Hmm. I know David has acted in something before. Yeah, he made a cameo. Yeah, he performed cameo appearance. in Coming to America. Besides Coming to too. America, I think he has done something for a Nollywood movie too. Hmm. Burner Boy. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Burner Boy in a Nigerian movie will probably be the villain. It will be Na the villain. Now he's going to beat people. He will remind us of Aung San Suu Looking forward to that if it's not Cruz. I know yeah. this one that Whiskey is talking about going on break. Guy, guy, hmm. guy. Anyways, on to the next story. Shakira settles tax evasion lawsuit. In a bid to avoid a lengthy trial that would have cost her a possible three-year jail sentence, Colombian singer Shakira has settled a tax invasion suit with the Spanish authorities. At the beginning of court proceedings, the judge announced a last-minute agreement 
submitted by the government and Shakira's legal counsel to avoid trial. The singer was asked by the judge if she was aware of the deal and the latest fines agreed, to which the singer responded yes. A statement released by the singer's management shortly afterwards announced that lawyers reached an agreement to end a tax case that covered the years between 2012 and 2014. If you recall, prosecutors had accused the singer of defrauding the Spanish state of 14.5 million euros, approximately $15.7 million on income earned between 2012 and 2014. Spanish authorities allege Shakira spent more than half of that period in Spain and therefore should have paid taxes in the country. They said she moved to Spain after a relationship with former FC Barcelona star um, defender Gerard Pique became public in 2011 but she maintained her official tax uh, residency in the Bahamas until 2015. Shakira's lawyers argued that until 2014, she was leading a nomadic life and earned most of her money from international tours and that she moved permanently to Barcelona just before the birth of her second son in January 2015. Shakira, in a statement issued by a lawyer, said, and I quote, I need to move past the stress and emotional toll of the last several years and focus on the things I love. They are my kids and all the opportunities to come in my career. There's also my upcoming world tour and my new album. I admire tremendously those who have fought those, these injustices to the end. But for me, today, winning is getting my time back for my kids and my career. Well, in a way, I kind of pity Shakira <laughs> because, like they always say, things we do for love. Yeah. And then 11 years of love and partnership is costing her this a amount lot. of money. Like, it's so much. Even a uh, lawyer joked about uh, the fact that if she had fallen, like she was um, in a relationship having a with crush Sergio. with the wrong person, yeah. because if she had it's fallen for Sergio, Ramos, yeah. she wouldn't have to pay this much, because <laughs> apparently in Spain, there are different states, and there are places where you don't pay well tax. Mm -hmm. Sergio is in Madrid, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and... Um, What's his name? Gerard Piquet. Imagine, I forgot his name already. <laughs> wow, Gerard Piquet stays in Catalonia. Yeah. Over there, where he stays, they pay well tax. You can't, where you, you can't run away. Sergio is, you don't pay. Even there are other um, criminal offenses yeah. that if you do some things in Madrid, you don't get it's arrested, you don't go to jail. But in that place, they take everything serious. Yeah. So at the end of the day, uh, I just wish her the best, mm. and I'm glad this is going away. So in this case, um, let me refer back to the DD's case. She's yes. claiming that she's innocent, yep. but because of the drama and the toll it to take, yeah. she has her kids to take care of, okay, she has yeah. music that is dropping, album dropping, so she doesn't want to waste her life yep. going back and forth in court or mm -hmm. being jailed, that she just wants to settle and focus on her life. So does that mean she's innocent or guilty? Putting Didi in the same situation. <laughs> because well, Didi too settled. True because sure. he doesn't want drama. True. And the conversation is, oh, Didi, you are, you are guilty because you are settling, you are settling, you are settling. Sometimes you just want some things to go away and you just make them go away. So Didi is innocent? I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have an answer to that, but yeah. I wish them the best. But I, I, I just feel with this situation with Shakira, I, I expected, I know that relationship is no more with Gerard Pique, mm -hmm. but Gerard Pique should have just... Come out to say Come out something. and say something exactly. or say, okay, you know what? Because of me, you came to Spain. Okay, I will take charge of this. You take charge of that. But they are, in, they are still claiming they are innocent. So. For someone that took strawberry jam, yeah. so you think but you for, will come out. For now, everything is okay. <laughs> for now, everything is okay. <laughs>back to the show guys if you are just tuning in this right here is east flash on tv see and right about now it is time to see what's happening on socialville which means we'll be hearing all the amusing and outrageous moments taking place in the world of social media so focus on the screen are you ready yes sir okay so diddy has something to say and is asking a question says Sundays are for... <laughs> then Sissy Tema responds saying, getting shocked that tomorrow is Monday already. Yeah, probably. Aside from it being a day for people to go to their um, place of worship, yep. you'll be getting shocked that, oh, tomorrow, tomorrow on Monday, tomorrow on Monday. That's for people that work on Mondays, by the way. Yeah. yeah. But some people, some people cannot relate. <laughs> so it's quite <laughs> shocking how it takes so long for Friday to come. <laughs> but I'll... 
easy and fast Monday comes. Once Friday, like, it's just Friday, close your eye and open. It's Monday, like, how? Why? <laughs> ha. This is wicked, though. No relaxation. Okay, so uh, Decorum hashtag Flush It is asking, and he's telling people, he says, call out wicked seniors whenever you see them on this TL. Kemi Lee is responding. He said, Limfao. Someone that is a Nigerian army. <laughs> yeah, forgive me now. To air is human. You for call them out now. Call out. Too. Call so out. That, so that they, go they go find you. That's oh. why they don't join army. <laughs> if you say Camille won't lose weight, so they feel give oh, her air, she walk out. <laughs> <laughs> you for no forgive her. Okay, so at pictures folder is putting three pictures. And this is talking about the year 2023. Picture this. You open your eye, it's January. You close your eye, it's blank. Then you open your eye, November don't show. Tommy now responds saying, that black way they the middle, na shege be that. I saw shege. <laughs> this, this, this year was actually fast. And fast. I, think for, I think for Nigerians, it has to be, I was having a conversation with somebody, I think it has to be because it was the election year. Yeah. So before you knew there was February, election, election, election. Drama, 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 election finished straight up November, like ha. almost the end of the year. And so the people went to Shege for Medu. It's blank. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure a lot of people don't even remember what happened this yes. period. Because... February, March, April, May, June, July, all of a sudden. Ha. November, not November with you. It'd be like the distance between Friday and Monday, gone. <laughs> Okay, so the Mim King makes an appearance, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people can relate with this, you know. Your Facebook profile, you're looking like the biggest boy. Your Instagram profile, you're looking all professional. And then you're at home. <laughs> you'll be like, I'm less person when they pack. I don't, I don't want to agree with this. That Instagram profile should be the Facebook LinkedIn. profile. Yeah, the Instagram profile should now be the LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn, yeah. The Facebook profile should be the Instagram profile. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or if you get only fans, okay, yeah. Wow. How many fans do you have? I don't have fans. Okay, please let's just move on because some people, this is actually them at all. So there's a conversation between a father and uh, obviously his, maybe his daughter, his child, let's say his child. And then the child says, Dad, I want to marry. And dad is saying, Say sorry. And I respond, For what? He say, Just say sorry. And then you know, children, Gen Z, coconut, they say, at least tell me the reason. And Papa say, first say sorry. He say, okay, Dad, I'm sorry. The father now says, now you are ready for marriage. Your training is complete. You have learned to say sorry without any reason. So this has to be a guy or a girl. Yeah. Could be anybody. Very valid. Very valid. valid. Lesson. Very valid lesson. Because sorry is going to solve a lot of problems. Yeah. Saying that sorry first. There are so many situations <laughs> that when you just say sorry, you don't solve them. Then mm. later, if you go revisit and follow the person talk. But that's sorry at that point. Very bad. Let's see. Your training is complete. Mm -hmm. True, true. <laughs> is the now you're ready for marriage for me? Like, what? Okay, moving on. Uh, a lot of people and the way they type on social media. So let's just ask this question and it's valid. Say, please, what's the difference between N-O-W and N-A-U? Wow. Send it now, N-O-W, a command. Send it now, N-A-U, a plea. Send it now, 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 which is the N-O-W twice and N-A-U once. An urgent commanding plea. Mm. Do you agree with that, my people? OJ, do you agree? Send it now. Send it, Send it now. now. Hmm. You get the way. So you don't even need punctuation. You get the way. That send it now is yeah. really like a command. Yeah, then send it now is a plea. Yeah. Then send it now, now, now. Commanding plea. <laughs> <laughs> he join, he join, he enter, enter, enter. <laughs> All right, guys. And there you have it from the world of social media on Social View. Don't say we didn't teach you anything. that time once again we welcome you to the part of the show where we get to check out the very best of nigerian songs in a list of 10 to 1 right here on this week's e splash, splash top, top 10, 10 countdown. countdown so we're starting with the one at number 10 and this particular song was number nine last week it's amassed 24 million views over three months and is it leaving the countdown it'll be sad to see it go <laughs> anyway guys at number 10 check out asha care with lonely at the top
right there, even yep. though there's a remix, the acoustic version with her. Number 10 right there, Ashake Lonely at the top. And number 9 song was number 7 last week, dropping two spots. We have Charlie Poppy featuring Palmonde Edo. This one is titled Oba Pluto. Yeah, um, shout, shout out to Charlie Poppy. I saw this interview with Motolani on Zero Condition Podcast where he said that people are complaining that he's doing nursery rhyme, nursery rhyme. But before I started doing all those things, it's strategic. He Googled the most streamed song in the world, and it was Shark Doo 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 Doo. The number two most streamed song is Despacito. Yep. The third most streamed song is Johnny, Johnny, Yes, Papa, that <laughs> why he no go do nursery rhymes, making himself cash out. Say, Una, they play. <laughs> All right, guys, you just checked out number nine, Shali Poppy, like he said, featuring Pamondi Edo about Pluto. And now we're moving to the number eight spot. And this was number five last week. It's gone down a bit, like three spots. At number eight this week, we have one they call featuring Whiskey with Ibele Be. Let's go, guys. Hey. Yes, yes, you're welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You just checked out our number eight song on the East Splash Top 10 Countdown, One Day Go, featuring Whiskey with a Billy Bay number seven. Was number 10 last week, jumping three spots. We have Big Tony featuring Baby Boy AV, and this one is tied to Jaga Jaga. They are live, Jaga Jaga. Let's go. <laughs> They are live, right. Jaga Jaga. Yes. They are live, Wuru Wuru. <laughs> Big Tony featuring Baby Boy AV with Jaga Jaga at number seven. And at number six, we have one that has jumped two spots. It was number eight last week. Now it's number six. We have Crayon and Iris Star with Ngozi. Check it out. Number five on the countdown this week was number four last week. And it's dropping one spot. We have Fino right here. And this one is Do I. Let's go. And at number four this week, we have Thames with me and you. Let's go. Talk about pills for this thing that we're doing for you. So you start with Chef Davi Das. Will they give you TikTok this thing? me and you. You don't do me and you. Will they give you TikTok vibe now, Thames? You all done too fast. Me and all of you, yeah. You already know. Yes, number four, you just checked that out right now, Thames, me and you. Number three, this created to the birthday boy. Yesterday was his birthday. Yep. So his first birthday, and of course, he put up loved up pictures, Ooh. and of course, he he unveiled his kids, yep. the twins, but without their face showing. You already know who I'm talking about. <laughs> David O is right here, and this one is titled Fail. Let us uh, dance. Don't let uh, us dance. Uh, uh, <laughs> <there's a feed. laughs> All right, guys, you just checked out at number three, David Doe with Phil. And now we're at the number two spot. Wow, wow, wow. This one was number two last week. It's still number two. And it's curated at two, Burner Boy with CT Boys. Yes, welcome back. Our number two song right there, Burner Boy, CT Boys. Our number one song for this week, ladies and gentlemen. And the third week in a row, <laughs> you already know, it's titled <laughs> My G. And of course, it's created to Keys Daniel. Yay! And we want to say thank you guys so much for always staying tuned to the show. It's been an amazing countdown show with you. I'm sure a lot of you have updated your playlist. So mm -hmm. don't even say we did not do anything for you. Anyway, this is what we say goodbye and draw the cutting from King OJ himself and myself, Lady Cat. Have a real hotness. We say goodbye and make it a date at 12 tomorrow on East Splash. Bye, guys.